Today we are fixing up an old beater boat and taking it out to catch some clams for bait. I've got a lot to learn, so let's get started. There's so many of them. This is my friend Charles, and he's about to teach me how to fix up this old Carolina skiff. It's been sitting in his backyard unused for three years. Now, I've never owned a boat before, so I'm incredibly grateful to him for teaching me. The first thing we did together was fix up the trailer wheels and check the bearings. Then, we opened up the motor to check the spark plugs and gave the motor a full service. After we checked everything, Erin and I took the boat out for her maiden voyage. Unfortunately, as soon as we left the ramp, the engine died. Luckily, this nice man with a cool dog helped tow us back, and I could get my tools to diagnose the issue. Get out and start walking around. All right, I'm gonna jump in, see if I can find any clams. Woo! Pretty shallow. It's like maybe three, four feet, five feet. No, no, probably four feet. Found one. Whoa! Yeah, you can feel them around with your feet. Let's fill it up. Cool. Okay, what do you feel for down there? You feel for clamps. You feel for like a circle-y thing. A circle -y. You're kind of just digging your fingers in there a little bit. It's kind of sandy, kind of muddy feeling. Um, but it's just mostly shell bottom. So I'm just kind of feeling around with my feet and then just grabbing them. Oh, that's so fun. I love to come out here with a mission. Our mission today is get some bait for the, for the surf. All right, that's enough bait for now. That was a great swim. But let's take these to the beach. After we found the bait, it was time to meet Charles at the beach. So we just made it to the surf. This is our spot that we love to fish here with Charles. And uh, have you been to this spot before? I have not. This is my first time. Oh, your first time? Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope I hope that these work. So we've got all these clams that we collected yesterday from the boat that uh, we fixed up together, yes. right? And I just want to thank you again for letting letting us do that and teaching us how to how to fix it up and how to use it. That I'm I'm super excited. Anytime you're giving and helping someone else out, it really it's awesome. Yeah, and I I'm really glad appreciate that you're taking care of it. Thank you. So we got all these clams here and we're really gonna see if these clams work well I've got other baits too I've got shrimp we've got ghost shrimp that we caught I've got our salted clams as well and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish today all right let's do it yeah but first I want to give you a gift oh no way yep this is our our box here and it comes with it's a it's a waterproof bait box it comes with uh, spool holders for your rigs I got you some salted clams in here some of our Carolina rigs that we tie up this is a uh, more Carolina rigs high low popping floats right here 
Yeah. And these are the just standard high-low rigs. You can use this on the boat. You can use this anywhere. This is our special bait elastic that you can wrap your, your baits around in. Yeah. Our special skipiki rigs. So hopefully you can find some use with this. So for this rig, it's a high-low rig with small hooks, light line attached to a two-way swivel to my main leader line. So there's two hooks here and on the bottom we put a sinker and right here it looks like three ounce will do just fine. So I'm going to do a three ounce pyramid sinker right here. Next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to shuck some of these clams. Oh, would you look at that? Look at that. Okay, so I've got this elastic bait here. We're gonna use this elastic bait right here. Invisithread, bait elastic. Now this works really well to keep soft baits like this. You see that clam on the back? This is exactly what it's for. Clams, shrimps, soft shell crabs, ghost shrimps. So just get it on the hook for now. And there's a, you can feel there's a little harder piece and that's what you wanna put your uh, hook through. Maybe we need two clams per piece. These clams are smaller than I thought. Would you like to put a second one on? Yes. These are really soft. I'd imagine they work really well for bait, so. Does it feel the same or different to another type of clam you use? This feels softer than the clams that I'm used to using. But you see how I put it on? It's all threaded up on there, so it's not gonna come off. We're definitely gonna need more clams. Awesome. You're quick with that. That should be enough. Look at how it wraps around the hook. All right. So now we got two perfectly presented clams on small hooks. That's the nice part about the bait elastic is that when you cast it really hard, it'll stay on. All that soft bait won't get flung off. All right, now we gotta watch this because it might get bitten really soon. So we're gonna do the same thing on all the other rods here. Leave them out there and wait for a bite. This is our mini sure catch rig. We've got a little mini hook on here, light line, and an egg sinker. So now what we're gonna do now is put a piece of clam on the end of it. I'm feeling for the harder part of the clam that's so it will uh, help hold it on. Ooh, that's nice clams on there. Oh, yeah. All right, ready for some string. I'll take it. juicy it is. It's like dripping out clam juice right now. Now it's just a matter of waiting. makes a uh, good food too. How do we cook our ladyfish? 
So I, I basically I take all this the meat out by okay. scraping it out. Then I blend it up. I make it into like a fish cake. I blend it up okay. with flour, salt, pepper, and then you steam those balls or you deep fry those balls, and then you make little fish cake balls. Oh wow! They're really nice. So you bake them first, and then no, you, you scrape the meat out. Okay. You blend it up. You mix it with uh, flour and uh, salt, pepper, and then you pull them into a ball it's or like, like a patty meat shape. Fish. Yeah. So now when I cast this, I'm looking at the waves here. Where the waves are white, that's where there's a sandbar. When they stop being white, that's where a dip is. And you want to cast it right in that dip, or right in between. Because when the waves hit the sandbar, all the different creatures come up and get stirred up. That's where the fish are hiding. They're waiting around that area for the waves to hit the sandbar. Get more clams on. Holy Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big one. Big kahuna. I may have to pull another line for this one. <laughs> oh, wow. Pompano. Pompano. Awesome. Pompano. Man, these clams take forever to put on the hook. But they are rewarding. Yeah, they are. Well, they're also free. We gathered them ourselves. All right, enough. Skipper, got one more for you. This clam, I, I've salted and preserved myself. They are different kind of clams, but this color on the clam attracts a lot of fish itself. So what I'm gonna do is just rip a little bit, just like that, for color. Put it on the tip like that. See how nice that looks? Do the same thing for this. Just a little bit will do you. Like that. All right. Charles just is ready to go. So far, the only problem I see with the clams is it takes forever to put it on, and it's so soft that it's it's kind of difficult to put on. All right. I think it's time to move our rods back a little bit. Oh, oh man, that'd be... It's 
fighting me in the surf right here. Big poppy, big poppy. Big poppy. Big poppy. doing it with a better person than his skipper. Oh man, thank you. Brandon. It's so, been awesome fishing I'll with you, man. And yeah. woo, good eating tonight. Yeah. Should I cook them up tonight? I, that would be amazing. All right, all right, we'll cook them up tonight. Everything's just been perfect today. I just filmed a video recently about downsizing all of my hooks. And like I said, ever since I downsized all of my hooks, I catch so many more fish. Using the smaller hooks, using really fresh bait with the bait, bait elastic wrapped around it, it's just works so well for us. If you want the exact same rigs that we're using today, I hand tie all of these. They're on my website, hayskipperfishing.com. And I have plenty of them for you guys. I tied them up so that you guys just get out there and get on fish right away. I know a lot of you guys, but you have you work a lot and it's not easy for you to get out and fish. When you get out here, you don't want to have to worry about retying, rebaiting, wasting time, wasting money. So we have all these different products to help you save time and money and just get you right on fish. Look at that, they bit the clam and the red clam combo. I told you guys, our salted clams work so well. I think it's the color and the smell of the fresh clam at the same time. Look at that pompano. And this is all the same two little pieces of clam that I've used the entire time. That red clam, that salted clam that we do, it works so well because you don't have to keep rebaiting it over and over again. Woo! Man, and I didn't think I'd be catching pompano during this time of year. But today we caught four of them. I think Mr. Bean is my lucky is my lucky ticket here. Lucky Mr. Bean. Really good. This is 
we're going to drizzle some olive oil, salt and pepper on it. Okay. On your plate. On your plate, yep. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do is just grab a little piece of fish. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's coming apart so nicely. Wow. Mm. We're going to put a little bit of salt on it. Oh, here I have that. Salt and pepper. To the honors. Pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I hear it. May I have a little salt, please? Little Charles. Oh, so good. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And we salt it. Do I salt it? You no? can salt it. You can pepper it. You can do whatever you'd like. Amazing. This one. Nothing like fresh fish. Just a couple hours ago. Uh -huh. I know. Mmm. Incredible. It's just right. right. And, yeah, and it's and not nice. overwhelming. Right. Mmm. Right? Buttery. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Buttery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Oh. Cheers. Cheers.